But, and there's always a but, isn't there? Fox 5's Bob Barner down in the news. Bob, how about that but? <laughs> Brian, the vote was 61 to 37, pretty much along party lines. The Democratic majority in the U.S. Senate greenlighting a measure to give the district voting rights in the House of Representatives, not in the Senate. D.C. Mayor Adrian Fenty, D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton, and Democratic leaders of the Senate spoke to reporters after the vote, knowing that a court challenge is on the horizon. The Senate's Republican leader and other opponents say you can't give the District of Columbia a vote in Congress because it is not a state. That was the intention, they say, of our founding fathers. Despite those objections, the House is expected to vote on the matter as early as next week. There's on behalf of the 600,000 residents of the District of Columbia, thank you. Uh, thank you for your efforts uh, on getting the, uh, the cloture vote on Tuesday uh, and getting this passed by the full Senate today. Well, it's, it's impossible to say uh, exactly how I feel about this vote today. Um, in a real sense, it's like win winning the Senate is like winning the lottery. The bill would increase the House membership by two votes. The second would most likely be a seat from the Republican-leaning Utah. The House passed a similar measure two years ago and, again, is expected to vote on this one next week. President Obama has said he will sign it. This would be the first time in nearly a century that the U.S. House of Representatives would grow in number. But again, Brian, this case will be challenged in court, perhaps all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Bob Barner live tonight in the newsroom. A quick health note, former D.C. mayor and current council member, Marion Barry, will be released from Howard University Hospital tomorrow. Barry underwent a kidney transplant, as you know, last Friday, donated by a friend. Barry was initially supposed to be released today. We're told he is doing well, has not suffered any complications. A spokesman says diabetes and hypertension led to the need for that transplant. Giving you the news edge on Maryland now where some high school students in Prince George's County are being warned to stay away from a wooded area near their school after two girls were sexually assaulted there. Fox 5's Paul Wagner live in Oxon Hill tonight with the very latest. Paul. Well, Brian, Prince George's County Police need a little bit of help with this one because of the brief description they have of the gunman. No one really knows what he looks like. The path the girls were attacked on is a litter-strewn stretch connecting Bach Road with the Oxen Hill Library. Police say the gunman forced the girls off the path deeper into the woods, where he forced them to take off their clothes. After sexually assaulting the girls, police say the gunman forced them to leave the woods naked. Investigators say they know of no other similar attacks in the county or the Washington area. School officials say students were warned again today to stay away from wooded shortcuts. This shortcut through the community is something the school has advised students against in the past and has reinforced today that it's not a good idea to go through wooded uh, shortcuts, um, stay on the safe walking routes where you're very visible. The principal here at Oxen Hill High School held assembly today to reinforce that, to stay out of these wooded shortcut path areas. Uh, they are, were also given a letter to take home to their parents. Prince George's County Police said today, though, that the two teenage girls who were attacked were not in school on uh, the day that they were attacked. He said that, uh, or they, police say that they were attacked about an hour before school is, uh, usually has their dismissal. Back to you. All right, Paul Wagner tonight. Charges set aside today for the mother of a girl found dead in a Manassas Creek. Alfreda Glover appeared in front of a judge on the charge of filing a false police report after she reported her daughter, 13-year-old Lexi Glover, missing. Charges not yet been officially dropped, but prosecutors expect to file new charges after the grand jury convenes on Monday to consider the case. A passionate but controversial cause. Two Maryland men accused in a nationwide assisted suicide ring Get the edge from investigators and how they busted the men in Baltimore. When it comes to your health, your weight is one of the most important considerations. What you need to know now to keep it under control. This job fair, not for most. For a very selective group. Get the edge on why nobody else was allowed to come. Back in two. On the next TMZ. What's Tam hot and worth about 10 grand? Katrina Darrell, she's the bikini girl from American Idol. She's got a new way to make some money. She's going to get over $10,000. Do you want to know what she's got to do? The bikini girl gets a big bailout. Next TMZ. Tonight at 6.30 on Fox 5. 
If you've been thinking about leasing your next car, you've probably noticed that some auto companies have discontinued the practice.